Good morning. It's Tuesday the 16th. It's 7 o'clock now. I'm still in my tent. I woke up about 10-15 minutes ago. I had just about everything packed. It's been raining off and on. I was waiting to see what would happen and it just started raining again. So, um, it's a shorter day for me. I believe I have just about 8 or eight or 9 miles to do. So, I figure uh, 3 to 4 hours of walking. But it's supposed to be raining most of the morning. So, I'm going to put my rain gear on. And start out with my rain pants on and I'll wear this shirt if it rains heavily I'll stop and put on my rain jacket I don't want to keep the rain pants on unfortunately it'll keep me warm as well um, so a little later start than I normally would do but I figure I have a shorter run I have to go to a hotel I can't get in there too early I'm sure um, but I don't think I'll be there before noon anyway so I don't think it'll matter but that's it so uh, check in when I hit the road I'm going to use the bathroom, of course, much better than digging a cat hole, and I'll take my tent down, but I'm hoping for the rain to stop, and at least I can shake some water off of it, so I don't have the extra weight in the water in my pack. Uh, good night last night, actually slept a little bit, tried to go to sleep early, around 7 or 8, but it didn't work out, I didn't fall asleep until probably close to 10, 10 30, and then... Uh, woke up a couple times during the night it felt a little warmer at first but then it got chilly obviously as the night went on like around two three o'clock it was quite cold but I was pretty warm in my uh, I was a little more prepared for it I wore my jacket last night um, to sleep in kept socks on and I also uh, put my other jacket around my head to keep uh, drafts from blowing in I also lowered the tent a little bit so there's not quite as much airflow through it but the wind wasn't that strong and you can see there's really not much of a breeze right now. But there's no real condensation on the inside. So I'm happy with that. Except there's water on the outside. So not happy with that. Okay. Looks like there's the rain that's heading down to the direction of King Lucy, which I believe is that way, and coming toward us as well. So I've got my rain gear on now, and I want to take my tent down, but it's still raining, so I'm just gonna have to suck it up, I guess. Um, it's kind of a low, it's drizzling now, so I'm probably gonna unpack. There's the other TGO challengers right there. There's uh, four of them, and their friend that had a car that met them. But I'm um, just gonna start hiking. Uh, sun's struggling to make it out, so hope it wins. It's 7.30, I'm already out on the road. So, took care of my business. I'm on the way to King Goosey. Uh Rain is predicted all morning off and on, so I'm wearing my rain gear. It's a beautiful ensemble. Not a, not a color coordinate, sort of, black and green. Um, I don't know how many videos I'll take if there's a lot of rain, because I don't want to get the camera to get wet. It's drizzling right now and I'm underneath some trees. So, but, uh, Landscape as usual is actually beautiful. Got this bridge over here, stone bridge, trees, road, and the highlands. So I should be, uh, I believe it's a little over eight miles. So I'm figuring for four to five hours, uh, hopefully get there between one and two. I think today though is the day they're supposed to be working on the road. They sent the notice out that the road into King Lucy will be closed from like seven to five. So I may have to walk an extra like two miles or a mile or two just to get into town if that road is indeed closed. I don't know if the rain will alter that work or not. I don't know. I don't know if that's just for traffic or if it's for pedestrians as well. I'm hoping it's not. Obviously I'd like to save myself two miles if I don't have to or however long it is, I don't even know. I know there's another road on the far side of town. So, but this is the main road in and out that people use. Okay, I'm gonna put my phone away so it doesn't get wet. Well, it's 9.20 in the morning. I've gone a little over five miles. I've got about four or five kilometers to go, so maybe another three miles, hopefully, if my uh, track is correct and I don't get lost. I've only made one or two mistakes today, 
Uh, more or less, I've been following my track as planned and uh, things are doing well. It's sunny right now, but you can see those clouds right there in the distance. And over there, that's all rain. So I'm afraid it may be coming this way or it may be passing. It looks like it's already passed, but I'm not sure if there's more coming. Um, there's more, a little more rain behind me as well. So I'm uh, a little reluctant to take off my stuff, but I'm getting a little warm in the sun right here. So hopefully the clouds come in and cover that up. So, uh, so far uh, going good. Temperatures have been warming up as the sun came out just now. Before that, it's uh, cool and comfortable. Uh, it's a little breezy up here, obviously in the mountains. And uh, haven't seen another hiker or a soul since I left the caravan park. So, um, and that was uh, just about two hours ago, a little less than two hours ago. So, but uh, it's uh, interesting views. I mean, there's not, I've passed a couple of clumps of trees every once in a while, but more or less it's this scrub most of the time. And I'm following a rutted path or I've been following a narrow uh, track. Uh, back there, it was quite muddy. I guess a lot of people use it for bike riding. There were a lot of uh, tire marks. So I guess people go, uh, you know, mountain biking up there through the mud and up and down. Uh, it doesn't seem like too many people are coming up here. Haven't seen any footprints, but it's been raining, so... I expect it would be uh, washed out. I'm um, just going to keep going. Looks like that's where I'm going in the distance. The track is pretty straight. It should start heading down over that clump of trees in the distance. And then I believe it jo eventually it joins the road and should be a town. At least that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Have to check the map again, but that's pretty much it. Check back in later. Well, this is the road I got to take. Looks like I'm getting wet. I might try to go up north a little bit here, or that's actually which direction that is. I might be able to get across over there and stay dry. I'm gonna look up and back. So after traversing that stream and getting my feet wet, I come across on the other side and there's a sign saying there's a footbridge up the road there. And it looks like you could almost see it right there but too late now my feet wet on my way still showing about an hour and a half of walking uh, it doesn't seem to be getting any closer <laughs> but I know I am getting closer hopefully that's my first view in the distance right there of King Goosey it's my target about four kilometers away a little over an hour to the road but as you can see behind me there is construction today and it is closed so I have to walk along the roadway more in order to get there not good it is what it is how's that for fortuitous god bless that was nice here come some more hikers if they're uh, in the challenge or not we'll find out road closed but not for me thankfully I want to thank the guys that are working here to let me cross. So that saved me probably at least over an hour, maybe an hour and a half walking. I would have really been put out. The other entrance to the town was on the highway up there. It's a main road. It's a four lane highway, I believe. And it's at the other end of town and I would have to walk all the way back. So quite, quite a distance. Um, if I did my planning right and I put the end of this track where the hotel is I got about a half a kilometer to go looking forward to getting this pack off taking off my clothes going to the bathroom again and uh, then doing some resupply and making me even later I was just thinking it would be terrible if a train came along, and of course, the train comes along. So I have to stop. This is where I'll be staying tonight, the Silver Ford Hotel, or Silver Fjord, if you want to say it correctly. 
Um, the gentleman there was kind enough to let me leave my bag here. So I'm going to go out exploring the town, try and get uh, some food. That's better. I'm going to try and get uh, some food to eat, uh, maybe some breakfast. I'm also going to try and get a resupply. And if I can, find a bank and take out a little more cash because I think it would be good to have uh, some cash on hand. So I've toured uh, Kingusi. Uh, there's not much here. There's like one main street with some commercial businesses. Uh, not very much. Doesn't seem to have a bank. I wasn't able to find one. Uh, I guess I can ask inside there. I've got about two hours to kill. Um, here's the railroad station, which at one time was really bustling from what I read. Uh, they used to ship animals and stuff, you know, in and out. So uh, if you had to take animals to market, you would bring them here and they would load up. Uh, the station here is... Uh, was established in 18, I think 94 or 96 or something like that. I was looking for a cornerstone, but I couldn't find it. Um, I was able to check in with Challenge Control. I was able to check in with Challenge Control. I let them know that I've arrived in King Goosey. I'm a day early and I'm gonna keep with that schedule for now. So looks like um, I have two long days of hiking in front of me, basically almost 30 kilometers each day. So it'll be quite long. Uh, probably seven to eight hours, maybe nine, with uh, some climbing to reach my goal. I called both caravan parks that I'm staying at, at my next reservations, uh, Braemar, and left a message once again. I didn't, couldn't get a person, uh, just a recording. Um, but according to Challenge Control, they're very accommodating. They're used to dealing with people from the challenge, and there should be no problem with me arriving there early. I hope not. Uh, the other caravan park, I was able to get in touch with someone there, very, very nice, very helpful, told me show up whenever I get there and they'll have room for me. So pretty much I'm set right now. That's my last reservation until I reach Montrose um, we're at the end of the challenge. So pretty much a week away, just about. So I have plenty of time to not worry about um, reservations. Everything else, the last four days, I figured along the D side way, I would be able to go into towns and find accommodations in hotels or bed and breakfast or things like that. I'm just killing time now to try and get into a room. I'm going to go there and ask if there's any way that I can get in early. I don't care if the room's clean or not. I mean, in terms of as long as it's not dirty, I don't. it doesn't matter. They don't have to prep the room for me. I'm easy. Um, I just want to get out of the wind and rain. It's been raining and off and on. I spoke to a gentleman from Challenge Control, uh, Mick, who is located about three miles down the road from me at Newtonmore. And uh, he asked if I got caught in the rain this morning. And I said, yes, I did, all day. Um, we had a nice conversation and talked, and hopefully I'll run into him at uh, Montrose if he ends up getting there. So that's it. Uh, it feels like it's starting to rain again. So I'm gonna walk over to the hotel and see what I can do. Um, I did buy a couple of supplies. I just bought uh, two or three bars and another dinner, and that's it, and some candy. I'm gonna hold off on that until I get into town uh, after the next two days, three days. I think I already have more than enough food. I don't wanna over uh, burden myself. I think I'm carrying too much personally. So uh, I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Um, I think I have three dinners. This would make four, just in case I have an extra one or a lunch if I really need it, uh, energy, or maybe one day, one meal is not enough. But at the rate I'm going, I seem to be not eating it as much as I'm carrying. So probably better if I don't do it. So. That's it. Well, hello. Uh, it's 2.20 now. I got into my hotel room probably like about 1.40. Uh, one of the people that were working here, um, I stopped them and asked them if it's possible to get in a room early. Um, you know, I don't need much. I just need to get, I would love to get in a room and be able to take uh, some clothes off, especially my, my feet. Uh, I wanted to check them out because I have a spot that's really irritated. 
and I was worried that it actually was going to be a blister, but it doesn't appear to be. I'll show that a little later. Um, I, obviously, I mentioned I, we, I walked around town a little bit uh, trying to use up some time. I also called both um, Challenge Control and checked in early. I also called the two caravan parks that I'm staying at in two days and three days, respectively now. And I'm on track. I'm going to plan on doing those in order, but I'll be a day early. And uh, the one that I spoke with, as I mentioned, accommodated me. He said, no problem. Just show up. We'll have room for you. The other one, I just left a message. I couldn't get in touch. But the challenge control uh, person I spoke to let me know that they're usually very accommodating and there shouldn't be any problem with me getting it. So I came back to the hotel. I waited around a little while and then I was able to get in. So I was very happy for that. Like I said, I took a shower. The wallpaper behind me is, I'm assuming, uh, quite old. Uh, the walls actually have a ripple or a wave to them. So I'm assuming it's probably lathe and uh, original work with the lathe and uh, wood. And it's just, over time, it probably just uh, sags a little bit. But it's quite weird. And it looks, obviously, quite old. And it could use a touch-up. But you know what? It's actually nostalgic. I can't, it's weird, but it's you know, nice that they kept it. Um I've gone through my stores now. I've taken all my clothes off, uh, washed some stuff that I could. I really didn't want to do it too much because I don't think it'll dry by tomorrow. And tomorrow I have a long day. I'm going to try and get up early and get out of here um, because I want to have a lot of miles to do. Um, I'm figuring tomorrow will be close to 20. I think I'm supposed to do 25 kilometers. But if I can, I might actually try to do a little bit more depending on what it is. I'm looking about eight hours of walking either way just to do what I plan on doing. And the following day, pretty much the same. I have 54 kilometers to cover in two days. So once I get through an area called Glen Feshi, I come to the D River. Mostly there's a little bit of a stretch there. But once I reach that area, it's kind of a little more urban. And I don't think that I'll be permitted to wild camp as much. I probably can find a couple of spots to wild camp there. Uh, you know, one, one tent somewhere, probably later in the night, I could probably find the spot. But I prefer not to do that. I want to be a good steward of the TGO challenge. I also don't want to... I'm a guest in this country, and I'd like to follow the rules. So um, I'm going to try and make that caravan park. So if I split the 54 kilometers up into two days, you know, I can do them a lot easier if I go a little further tomorrow because it was less miles. And this way I'll have less to do on Thursday, which is when I hope to be at the caravan park. And I will hopefully be pa I'll be passing by the castle of Balmoral, which was one of my things I wanted to do as well. Um, I believe, I'm not sure it's open. I think they're doing some renovations now that a new uh, king has been in place. Um, I believe they're doing um, repairs during this time of year, not during the winter. So I think there may be some scaffolding up. I don't know if I'll be able to, but at least I'll be able to walk by, take pictures. I don't know if they're, uh, um, cafe or tea shop is open there and uh, the get the um, gift shop I was thinking about stopping in and buying something uh, for my boys uh, but I may not it depends I don't want to carry either but it's um, I'll be more than halfway done I think I'll have room I could probably carry it fit in my pack so I may stop and buy them a bottle or two or maybe one and we'll split it I don't know but anyway I've got a lot to do so I'm going to update my maps later on um, definitely coming toward the end of the maps. So it's amazing how fast, in a way, uh, I've progressed across the country. Um, it looks far. I'm not even halfway done yet. But um, obviously I've done most of the um, taller, uh, more um, variances in altitude, in, in elevation, have been, you know, past me. Although... The next day, I do have elevation coming up. I think it's 1,000 meters, 3,000 feet uh, of elevation change in the next day or two. So we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, I checked myself for ticks. Don't see any. I'm happy with that. I haven't seen one at all. I did treat my clothes with per permethrin before I left. So I don't anticipate them wanting to get on me and stay. Um, my rain gear isn't treated, but my regular clothes are. And today I wore my rain gear, but I have my regular clothes underneath it. I almost thought about putting on the rain pants without something. Tomorrow, I believe it's supposed to be dry in the next two, three days. So hopefully there'll be no rain gear, which will keep me a little drier, a little cooler. 
Uh, though the good thing about the rain gear is it does block the wind, no doubt about it. Um, you're quite warm in that, especially when going up something. Um, like I said, I also looked at my feet. I don't have any blisters. I have one area on um, on uh, one of my feet, on the ball of my foot, that some skin is rubbed away, but it's not a blister. It's just, um, you know, basically wear and tear on the skin, so to say. Uh, I have two nails that look like they've been beat up real bad. There we go. I know this is not attractive and they're quite dirty. I tried washing them, but they don't come out. Two nails right there. This is the one that's hurting me the most right now, right here, that little white spot. I was worried that might be a blister forming. I felt something rubbing while I was walking today and I really thought it was gonna be bleeding when I took it off, but it's not. Um, this one is the one that always um, gives me trouble, but it's really not that sore, but this one is really hurting me. The rest are just beat up a little bit. Um, I don't have a nail clipper, so I can't trim them. Out in front of me, I've laid out all my supplies that I have left including the stuff I brought today. So these are my energy stuff. Um, I didn't use one today, um, but I have enough for every single day left and might even have an extra one, but um, two, four, six, seven. So I probably have enough one for every day. Uh, the breakfast bars, that's really what I eat for, um, or the protein bars, I should say. They're just convenience. I generally eat one to two a day. Um, I usually have one for breakfast. Maybe one as a snack while I'm walking or for lunch. I generally don't stop and eat lunch. So these, this is my primary food in addition to the snacks that I'm having. So I have one soup left. I looked for more. I couldn't find any uh, tomato soup. This is beef and tomato. I only have one left. I've used three. Um, I'll use this up probably tomorrow on my trip. So more than likely, this will be like a breakfast and lunch. Breakfast and lunch, breakfast and lunch, breakfast and lunch for four days. After that, I believe I'll be in towns. So not as big a deal. I'll try to actually use some of these up. Uh, these are my snacks I have during the day. So usually I have a breakfast bar and then sometimes a snack or two bars and sometimes a snack, depending on how much I'm walking. Um, I haven't really been eating up as much as I thought I would. Unfortunately, I did buy another meal, which I probably shouldn't have. So I have four dinners left and I'll see what I make. I may make this I brought with me from the States, cheese and uh, ground gravy. Maybe I'll make that tomorrow night. And then I have four more meals. Um, don't anticipate needing them all because I think I'm going to be in towns a lot. So unfortunately, I probably won't even eat them. Uh, maybe I'll stop and have an early lunch uh, one day or two and actually use them up just to lighten up a little bit. But obviously, warm food, food made, uh, bought, is preferred over not having uh, a dehydrated meal. is not going to be the same. So this is the rest of my supplies. I'm going to pack it all up. I will load up my pack. I'll preload the snacks I think I'm going to use for the next day. I always put them in that pocket, that left front hip pocket. So it'll be, you know, probably one or two protein bars, probably a trail mix with the sports beans and the energy, the orange uh, gel. And I'm going to put those things in there. Anything I'm going to eat when I stop, I generally take my pack out because I'm sitting at my tent. So I'm not really worried about that. Uh, so I might put a little extra stuff in there just to keep my pack a little lighter. But it's, I'm still carrying it either way. It's just not in my back. It's on my hip. So that's it. I haven't really been going through the Propel drink mixes as much because most of the time I'm not using these. I'm actually using just regular water. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre-make one today. I'll use up two pouches and I'll fill up one. So when I start tomorrow morning, I'll already have a full water bottle with electrolytes in it. And the other one I will leave unmixed. And that's what I usually cook from. So I try to keep using one for drinks, one for food, so it doesn't have a smell, a taste of grape in it. You know, nobody wants grape flavored chicken soup or something like that. So, but if if I have to, I have to. That's it. So other than that, a great uh, thing. Uh, been a great day so far. It was short for me. I only walked about four four hours or so. Actually, less probably. Yeah, probably around four hours. A little, little, little more than four hours probably. Um, I'd have to look. Everything is charging right now in the gear closet here. <laughs> That's where I found the best plugs. And I have, you can see, I have uh, four things charging at once now. I've got my um, watch recharging. It's almost at 100%. Uh, it was only down to like 70. I have my MP3 player, which I used a lot yesterday and last night, and then even today, but I charged up. My um, Garmin. In reach and the battery pack will be fully charged when I leave today. The only thing that's not charging right now is on the phone because I'm using it to record this. So I'm going to plug it in a little while 
Um, I will need to use it a little bit. I'm going to research uh, my stops and what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at the maps, get my maps ready, throw away all my garbage here while I'm here. I'm going to wait until later. I'm going to probably go downstairs and eat here. Uh, there is a bar and a, it's like a pub. Um, I don't know what time they start serving dinner, but maybe I'll go down there about four or five and check it out. I do want to call home, speak with my wife, check on the family, see how everything's going. And I'm hoping to get an early start tomorrow morning. Uh, like I said, it gets light here, almost four o'clock. You could probably start hiking. So I may, depending on what time I wake up, uh, it's supposed to be really cold tonight. So I'm actually glad uh, it's supposed to be in the mid to upper 30s. Um, last night was probably around the 40, and today is going to drop a little bit. However, tomorrow is supposed to be a couple of degrees warmer, so I'm glad that I'm indoors tonight. I'll be out of the wind, a little bit warmer. Just happened to work out that way. Um, last night was still cold, um, but I felt a little more prepared for it. I left more clothes on last night, and I just had a, a better... Um, experience in the cold and I think I got some sleep so I'm happy for that um, trying to rest my feet up as much as possible didn't have a lot of pain in my feet until I almost got here and like I said it was the top of that one foot so there might be something in the sock I might try to switch socks again and not use those anymore um, if it's the one that's rubbing because um, it was just that one toe unless it's something in the shoe or something got in there I'll check later and that's it so that's today um, hopefully I'll check in tomorrow. That'll probably be it for today. I'm going to try to go to sleep early, get up early, have my bag packed before I go to bed. So all I got to do is get dressed and start walking. Take care. Decided to go to, to Mr. Chips there and get some chicken and some fries. So I can't really camp once I get out of um, Feshi or the Lake Feshi or Fe uh, 